Spring freeze in decades. A major operation to reconnect homes with no power since Friday goes on around the clock. Thousands of homes in Argyll and Kintyre still have no electricity. From Campbelltown, Sharon Frew reports. This is the damage in Kintyre which has brought misery to thousands of households. Reaching the areas affected is proving to be a challenge for engineers. This is the slow road to Campbelltown. Here on the A83 at Clacken, police set up a convoy to carefully move cars and lorries through the massive walls of snow. Damaged pylons lie in the surrounding fields. Their cables hang low with the weight of the thick ice. In Campbelltown itself, the snow may have melted, but many of its residents are still frozen and preparing for a fourth night without power. It's been disconcerting how quickly your life can change from one minute everything's fine and you take electricity for granted and then you realise just how quickly you know life changes when you don't have that to depend on. Just to wrap up again and hopefully, the other thing is you can't get the washing machine on, you can't get any clothes washed, um, but then everyone's in the same boat. There's warmth and hot soup on offer in a local hall. From here, council staff are also sending out supplies to those, including the elderly and infirm, who are unable to leave their homes. Elsewhere, catering vans have been drafted in to provide a hot meal. There's nothing else you can do, is there? There's not much point moaning about it, it's still going to solve it, so... Just as well, we've just done here, it gives us something to eat. It's been a trying time because it's been unprecedented, uh, uh, this type of incident in Kintyre in particular. We normally miss most of the kind of snow and everything else, given the kind of location of Kintyre respect to the, the Gulf Stream. Uh, so it's really something that we, we never really that we planned for, but we never expected it to be this level. Mobile generators are in place to restore power to some areas. In this street, it's helping to heat a nursing home. But these generators place a huge burden on demand for fuel. As a result, residents have been asked to conserve their supplies. There is a degree of panic buying, but it's, it's, it's not panic for the sake of panic. It's panic because people are cold. Uh, and they're needing this alternative forms of heating just to keep themselves, uh, keep themselves alive in their respects. Today is really the first opportunity that engineers have had to access the affected areas. Hundreds of staff are now assessing the extent of the damage. While the Isle of Arran has also been badly hit by the severe weather, at one point the whole of the island was cut off. Here's our senior reporter Mike Edwards. At its worst, thousands of homes across